Now this is your NCERT book question, a very basic one. It says die marked 1, 2, 3 in red, 4, 5, 6 in green is tossed. So you have 6 numbers in one die, you know. So there is some classification that 3 numbers out of the 6 are in red and 4, 5, 6 numbers which are the other 3 are in green and the die is tossed. Now there are two events. First is A be the event number is even and B be the event number is red. Now are A and B independent? You have to just find out that. I write solution. So for independent, you know that the condition has to be followed that if P of A1 intersection A2 I take, then P of A1 multiplied by P of A2 should also give the same result. Now here A1 and A2 aren't there but A and B are there. So let's find out what is the sample space of A. A is the even, the number is even. So the number is even means 2, 4, 6 would fall into it. So the probability of A is 3 over 6 which is 1 over 2. The next case is when B is there, B is the event in which the number is red. Now there are 3 numbers which are in red. Again 1, 2, 3 would fall into this. So P of B is equal to again 1 by 2 which is 3 by 6. Now what is P of A intersection B? So under A intersection B sample space, we will have the number which is both even and in red. So both even and in red is 2. So probability of A intersection B is 1 over 6 because only one number is present. Now you have to check whether the individual probabilities when multiplied give me the same result as the simultaneous occurrence of events. So what is P of A multiplied by P of B in this case? It is 1 by 2 multiply 1 by 2 which is 1 by 4. Now is 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 6? No, which is not equal to P of A intersection B. Because the individual multiplication of probabilities should have been equal to the simultaneous occurrence. But this time it is not there. So I write, so A and B are not independent are not independent. I am just writing in short. So the answer is that these events which were in this question are not independent.